sophisticated machine. Most, most kids start using drugs before the age of 18. And of course, entry-level uh, products ease their fears. There's a, a variety of, of drugs that kids can get into that don't seem that scary to them, and so they experiment. And I would comment as a little bit of an aside, uh, the NDP member from Vancouver East spoke last time, and uh, she talked about schools, quote, where kids are told, if you smoke marijuana, you're going to become a cocaine addict. Now, she went on to say that, uh, and again, I quote, that is like saying that everybody who drives a car is going to kill somebody. Now, first, I would say that I've never heard anybody explain uh, uh, the problem that way or express it that way, the fact that if you smoke marijuana, you're automatically going to become a cocaine addict. But I think most reasonable people would look at it and say that once you start with, with something, you're more likely to move on to something stronger down the road. I think that's something more, more reasonable people would say. And as for the car analogy, I think a, a more appropriate car analogy would be that not everybody who drives drunk is going to kill somebody, but we still have laws against drunk driving, and I think most people would think that those laws are reasonable. Moving on, and again, refer, talking about this compound effect, once these kids who kind of enter, enter into the, the, the world of drug use, once they start using drugs, they eventually move on to increased frequency or stronger substances. And they share these substances with their friends and talk about their experiences with their friends. And of course, at this point early in the process, there's still no apparent downside. Some kids are drawn deeper into the drug world. Their involvement gets more formalized. They join gangs. The benefits to them, they, they, they get money, they have esteem and power, among other benefits. And uh, then there's some other kids who, for them, uh, there may not be gang material. They become customers for life. They're addicted to the highs, but of course they need more and more of the substances to achieve those same highs. And uh, they, they fall into a world of, of petty crime and a habit of, of committing small crimes to feed their addictions. It becomes a spiral, of course, uh, escalating drug use and crime.